when someone like comes up to you and hits on you, I mean, there's some part of that that's like nice, but then there's also like some part of it that's like it's like there's it can be it can be good, but it also can be gross and bad like really quickly. And if they're like annoying about it, like if they're if they're genuinely genuinely trying to get to know you versus just saying whatever they can to get you in their bed, you know, like like people can sense when you're talking to them that attitude and that intention. And I think, I mean, if that's the way you want to come off, then go for it. But, like, I don't think a lot of people are looking for that, you know? Well, okay, obviously the first impression is, like, the first, like, what, like, ten seconds. That first, that much interaction. And I feel like you can already get... This dude came up to you and said you're beautiful. Um, I'd say thanks, but no thanks. Why not? Because he looks old. Well, I mean, I see he, he's older than, like, significantly older yeah. than me, and I, that's not attractive to me. Okay. Like, I mean, I guess if they have good intentions, like, I don't know. If a guy just came up to me in public without, like, I don't know, just, like, came up to me, I would be a little bit, like, I don't know. Like, that's what I would be. I don't know. Like, I don't... Sometimes men make me feel uncomfortable. And, like, like I said, like, it depends the motive. Like, yeah, like, it could be your soulmate. They could just be being nice. But then at the same time, like, you never really know. Like, they could just be dicks. But, like, I feel like a lot of the times, like, like you said, men, like, use their confidence. Or, like, they act like they have confidence to kind of, like, shadow that they're insecure, which I think is really true. But I also don't think that, like, their insecurity should be at, like, the expense of women. Because that's just not a thing. Like, they shouldn't need to feel like they need to approach women because they're insecure. Guys' intentions are fucked up a lot of the time. Like, and also depends where you are. Like, yeah, if you're in a club and some guy's coming up to you, like, approaching you, like, obviously you know his intentions. Or, like, you're at a bar. Or, like, but if you're, like, walking on the street... It also depends what they say, like if they're, hey, like, I like your outfit or something like that, or like, hey, you're hot, like that's totally different things to be saying to someone. I feel like you can tell pretty quickly. Definitely more defensive in places that you're unsure of. Like at home, someone comes up to me, like at the gym or something, like I'll just like be like, oh, okay, like thank you. But like if it's like a place like... I'm unfamiliar in, I don't know the, that many people, I'm definitely a lot more defensive, but that goes for guys and girls, not just guys. How long do you think you read about? Like in a second. I'm very good at it. I'm, I would say. So if a dude comes up to you, you're automatically going to know. I feel like. I'm very good at reading people. I'm very good at reading people. Yeah, I find that a lot of times when like I see something in someone, it, everyone doesn't realize it at first, but it turns out that like it's normally true. I would rather get a compliment from a girl than a boy, though. Pursue something. I'm in a committed one, like one in a eight, eight months relationship. So like, if a guy comes up to me, obviously I'm gonna be like, ew. You know what I mean? A compliment from a girl is like wholesome because it's like if right. you know that they went out of their way like and they mean nice. it and, yeah. and they're and like if they really were like not were like feeling your vibe like just trying to be mean they, they wouldn't say anything they'd be like oh do you see me shirt or whatever like you know what I'm saying um but yeah and then from a guy it's like there's always the opportunity the chance that they're just like lying because they want something. Isn't the suicide rate higher for men? I would rather be a woman. Well, you, you said that men have it easier. Yeah. So why do you still want to be a woman? Men do, do have challenge? it easier. I do want the challenge. Men literally make more than women do to the dollar. Yeah. Like, majority of men are in power. Like, why is that? And it's not just men. Like, it's white men. Like, that's the majority of the men who are in power. 
like regardless I don't know I just think that like men definitely do have it easier and like that has to do a lot with like systematic issues like women didn't always have rights like it was always women still don't have rights in other countries and like that was once our country so like same with like it's obviously not the same thing but like like it's white men like they have always had it the easiest and like yeah they may have insecurities but like they also don't have to be afraid when they walk to their car at night like they don't have to like get that like heart beating feeling when like you're walking out of work alone like men don't get that women do and I don't know yeah that's why I would rather be a woman because it shows power I think when you are successful but I also think that like I don't know it's like empowering when you do succeed as a woman because it's not as easy which is why I would rather be a woman you got any brothers? Yeah. Who turned out better? You did? Wait, but you just said men have it easier. Well, what, what went wrong? I work harder. Who, who got better grades in school? Me. He's also like 13, so like, <laughs> I can't really like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can't really judge that. He's 13. He's a work in progress. Yeah, he's good.